explore is kitty explorer here and today i am back with another atlanta food atlanta eats video in today's video i'm going to five different vegan spots vegetarian spots in the atlanta area trying them out or returning to for another time and i'm going to share those spots with you so you can know where or maybe where not to eat if you want vegan in atlanta while you're visiting or another place for you to try out if you live in the area so make sure you stay tuned to the end because I'm going to give you the rankings of all of these spots based on my experience at the end of this video. So let's head into the car and go to the first spot. And before we get into the car, I am Kitted Explorer and on my channel, I talk about all things travel, photography, and sustainability. So now for real, let's go get in the car and go to the first spot. The first spot we're going to check out is Bar Vegan, located on the second floor of Pont City Market in the Old Fourth Ward area of Atlanta. Bar Vegan opened in February 2021, and I must say I have been here plenty of times since it opened, but their menu has just gotten better, longer, more opportunities and more things to eat on this menu. Bar Vegan is also a relative of Slutty Vegan, they're both owned by Pinky Cole. As I was doing a photo shoot nearby, I decided to stop by for lunch to stay. I got me a Marta Express drink, excuse my nails, it was time for me to redo them. And then I purchased me some sliders to eat, which was delicious. I enjoyed this entire meal. And as I've been plenty of times already, I will definitely be back to Bar Vegan. This is the spot that you should check out if you are in the Atlanta area. This entire meal with my drink cost me $39.15 and Bar Vegan is open every day, but the times vary. So from Sunday to Wednesday it is open from 11.30 a.m. to 9 p.m. And Thursday through Saturday it is open from 11.30 a.m. to 11 p.m and make sure you check out their website because sometimes they may have different hours. So definitely check them out online or see them on Instagram. Next up is Urban Fix Vegan Kitchen, located in Midtown, Atlanta. It is located at 565 Peachtree Street, Northeast, and there is free parking in the garage right around the corner on Linden Avenue. You can make online reservations or you can just walk in as I did on this day. As you can see, they have a very extensive menu with a lot of different wines and cocktails, juices and all of that, and a really nice menu. I did really appreciate the server that I had. She was able to give me a lot of recommendations, told me what was good, what wasn't good, and I was really impressed with her service. I went on a Sunday afternoon for lunch, and as you can see, it's not too busy inside, but I really love the decor. They have an upstairs, a downstairs, and an outside eating area, which was great. Here is the drink that I ordered which was called the Refresh. It had pineapple in it, which sold me. The waitress did warn me that it was better when it had um, mint leaves in it, which I agree, it probably would have been excellent with the mint leaves. Now here I ordered spring rolls and I ordered one of her recommendations, which was pan seared scallion pancakes. I hope I got the name correct but those pancakes were delicious. I wasn't able to eat everything, so I ended up taking some things home with me and eating it later that day. But this entire meal was really good. The juice, it was okay. I would definitely not choose it. I went against her recommendation, but I still enjoyed it and enjoyed everything that I had here. And I would definitely recommend coming here if you're in the Atlanta area, if you want to a nice delicious meal. Both of the items I ordered were off the appetizer menu and they cost me 
$40.76. Yes, it was quite costly, but you know how the world is currently operating, but it was definitely worth every penny of it. Urban Fix is closed on Monday and Tuesdays, but it is open on Wednesdays through Sundays for lunch from 11.30 a.m. to 3 p.m. and for dinner from 3 p.m. to 9 p.m. So I was extremely impressed. My waitress, Susan, was awesome. She gave me great recommendations, was very honest, telling me what was filling, what was not. The pancake dish she suggested, and it was really good. It was like a pizza, an omelet type thing, I don't know. But it was really good, definitely impressed. On to the next spot. Okay, Explorer, so the next spot on the vegan food tour here in Atlanta is Slutty Vegan, of course. I'm going to the location on Ralph David Abernathy. So let's head up. I ordered my food in advance because sometimes, a lot of times actually, Slutty Vegan can have very long lines. So I ordered it for pickup because I don't have time to stand in a line today or any day. So let's head over to Slutty Vegan. I'm at the original Slutty Vegan located at 1542 Ralph David Abernathy Boulevard, Southwest Atlanta. And Slutty Vegan originally started in summer of 2018 when Peaky Cole started selling burgers off Instagram and through a food truck. And this location opened at the end of 2018. There are also five other locations and two more locations soon to open and I'm sure it's going to expand even more. I've picked up my order. When you pick up, do pick up orders, even though there's like a long line there, you can still just walk on in and get your order, which is great, but Time to go home and eat it. Okay, it is time to dig in. I haven't had Slutty Vegan in a few years, but I've had Bar Vegan quite a lot and it's owned by the same person, Miss Pinky. So let me open this up and dig in. I ordered a Fussy Hussy and that comes with a side of fries. So let's dig in. Here are my Slutty Fries. <laughs> And yes, they are vegan. And there's more fries in the bag. There's like a whole bunch that fell in there. Oh, and there's ketchup, cool. I would hope fries are vegan, right? Potatoes. And then there's, here's the fussy hussy. Oh, 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 oh. Here is my burger. That it looks like real meat. All right, let's try the food out. I love the way the fries are seasoned. Hmm. Definitely has some type of seasoning salt on it. Tasty. Burger is like massive messy. That is really good. You can hardly taste that it's not real meat. Like, how do they season this? Before it can taste like this, it's really good. Slave vegan is definitely a win. This burger is so flavorful, and I love that it has necessary toppings, and the cheese is also vegan. A really good burger. Well, a really good fussy hussy. Welcome to Soul Vegetarian, which has been in business since 1979 and was one of the first vegan restaurants in Atlanta. Soul Vegetarian restaurants specialize in 100% vegan cuisine with the freshest ingredients daily. And all of their treats are made of non-dairy ingredients. So I just picked up my food from Soul Vegetarian. I was gonna eat there, but I've been out too long today and 
my groceries are coming in a couple hours and I still need to make some stops. So, get this home to eat. Okay, I finally made it back home with my food from Soul Vegetarian. It's the first time I went there. They have two locations, one on North Highland Avenue Northeast, which is what I went to, and then another on Ralph David Abernathy, I believe. Um, so I'll leave the link down below, of course. So I got a meal, it was a luncheon special, because we'll barbecue cauliflower, sweet potatoes, and mac and cheese, and then a salad, and also comes with a side of cornbread. So let's take a look at this food. So here's the cornbread. I'm gonna have to heat this up because it took me so long to get home. I had to make stops, but here's the cauliflower. Here is the mac and cheese. And sweet potato. I know that ain't gonna go wrong. <laughs> So let me warm this up and give this a taste. Okay, I've warmed up my food. So first I'm gonna try the mac and cheese. I'm a little nervous about it because it's vegan mac and cheese. I love mac and cheese. And since it's vegan, it means there's no real cheese here. So let's see how it tastes. It's interesting. <laughs> um, it's decent. I mean, it's decent. You can work with that. Sweet potato, I mean, I eat sweet potatoes all the time. Like, this, this shouldn't be go wrong. Tastes good. barbecue cauliflower that was it just sounded interesting so i'm like what is what i like cauliflower there are, people make a lot of things out of cauliflower like instead of like dough for pizza i know people make cauliflower pizza so that's interesting i would like to try that mm. that's good mad barbecue cauliflower is good they gave me a lot of it <laughs> but it's good. And lastly, the cornbread. Cornbread's good. So the food is pretty good at Soul Vegetarian. I would definitely go back. Um, mac and cheese is like, mm. I wonder if I mix it a little bit with the, the sweet potato, maybe it'll give it a little more oomph to the taste. Okay, I have arrived at Cafe Sunflower in Buckhead. People were driving on slow. Well, they probably were driving the speed limit, but most time people do not drive speed limits around here. So let's go inside and check out Cafe Sunflower. Welcome to Cafe Sunflower, which is located at 2140 Peachtree Road in the Buckhead neighborhood of Atlanta. It has been serving Atlanta for over 25 years a vegan vegetarian experience. Cafe Sunflower is open for lunch Monday to Friday from 11.30 a.m. to 3 p.m. and for dinner Monday through Saturday from 5 p.m. to 9 p.m. And they have brunch on Saturday from 11.30 a.m. to 3 p.m., which is why I am here in this video and they are closed on Sundays. I really enjoyed the variety of the menu here at Cafe Sunflower. They have a 21 plus drink menu, so lovely cocktails, but they also have fresh juices and they have a lot of delicious meals for you to try with sides that you can purchase during the brunch. Obviously the menu for lunch or dinner is gonna be different, but I would not expect anything less than what I'm seeing here based on the variety that I received. They also have desserts and the dessert menu comes out. Literally, she brought a platter over showcasing the desserts, which they looked all delicious. I wasn't expecting it, so I didn't grab it on film, 
but it was so good when she brought out all of the desserts. So I ordered a margarita, which you just saw me drinking, and then I ordered the chicken biscuit meal, which was one of the recommendations my waitress gave me, and she did not go wrong. This chicken biscuit, which isn't real chicken, of course, had a jalapeno mango marmalade on top, which was delicious, a side of kale, a side of home fries, came with a little bit of ketchup, and a tofu scramble. Really good food, oh my gosh. It was so good and well worth it. I would definitely come back here at some point and I highly recommend if you're in the Atlanta area to check out Cafe Sunflower because this food was just incredible. So good. The chicken, you could tell it wasn't real chicken, but I couldn't tell by taste it wasn't real chicken, which I, I just completely love this meal. Everything that I ordered here at Cafe Sunflower, including the dessert that you'll see here shortly, cost me $54.65 with tip, which is quite costly, yes, for a Saturday lunch or brunch. But you could save money by not ordering a drink or getting just a side or even not eating all the food because it's so delicious and taking some with you so you can have it for another meal. And I love dessert, so I had to get a dessert. I ended up getting the carrot cake, which was delicious. The only thing you can tell that's different about it than regular carrot cake is that it crumbles more because, you know, eggs aren't real cake. But other than that, it tasted the same and it was delicious. Yo, I am about to have a hard time picking which was my favorite vegan restaurant out of the five I went to four was really good. So let's go home and rank the five restaurants. All right, Explorers, it's now time to rank these five vegan spots in Atlanta. So comment down below what you think my number one favorite spot was from this video. So let's get into it. Jump roll, please. Coming in at number five is Soul Vegetarian. The food was just not that appealing after I ate more of it, and it was actually low cost, which was great, but I guess you get what you pay for. And coming in at number four is Slutty Vegan. I do really enjoy Slutty Vegan. The food was delicious. It was actually cost efficient, but it is fast food still. So the food is processed, particularly the burger. So that's why it's coming in number four, but I would definitely be back there because I do enjoy the food. And at number three is Urban Fix Vegan Kitchen in Midtown. The food was delicious. The server was great. The restaurant looked good. The juice could have been better. They should have kept the mint leaves in the drink. <laughs> Coming in at number two is Bar Vegan. I love Bar Vegan. It has a nice vibe. It's located in my favorite part of the city, Pond City Market, and the food is good. And number one, Cafe Sunflower. Did you guess correctly? This is number one because the food was good. The drink was good. The dessert was amazing. And it's in a great location with free parking. Okay, Explorers, I really hope you enjoyed this video and learning about these five different vegan spots in the Atlanta area. And did you guess which one would be my number one spot? Let me know down in the comment box. So if you enjoyed this video, make sure you hit the like button. Please don't forget to subscribe and hit the notification bell. It's free for you to do so. And it helps me provide more and better content to you in the future. And make sure you share this video with your friends, family, and social media networks. Leave any questions about this video down below in the comment box. And make sure you head on over to thekeetoexplorer.com backslash shop so you can get and purchase an itinerary from any of my prior travels. Thank you so much for watching. Have a great day and night wherever in the world you are. Bye.